human farming, clothing, and music and spirituals are the key symbols in Anne Moody's powerful memoir, Coming of Age in Mississippi. Food symbolizes self-sufficiency, self-determination, and social status. And the Moody family members feel more confident when they supply their own food. Raymond dreams of being an independent farmer. Anne works to earn money for staples like milk and beans. Food ultimately demonstrates the difference in economic status between the Moody's and their white employers. Farming represents a southern rural agrarian way of life and identity. Mama and Raymond are hooked to the soil. Gardening is one of the few times Anne sees her mother happy. Though farming gives a sense of purpose to her family, Anne notices how little control Mama and Raymond have over their crops, and how they're unable to farm their way out of poverty. Clothing represents transformation, independence, and positive change. Key transitions and moments in Anne's life are often symbolized by a new outfit. For example, her baptism dress demonstrates her membership in a church community and her connection to black churches. Her homecoming gown shows her grown into a respected, confident young woman. The new clothes she buys after a summer in New Orleans show her increased desire for an independent adult life. And her graduation cap and gown demonstrate her hard-won accomplishments. Music represents heritage and pride, and spirituals, or religious songs associated with African-American Christian communities, show the unity, strength, and passion of the civil rights movement. Activists sing in jail, while marching, and on the bus to Washington. The songs We Shall Overcome and Oh Freedom become particularly important to Anne. She hears the strengths and the limitations of the movement expressed in the lyrics. The lyrics to Old Folks at Home and Dixie inspire Centerville's nostalgia for an older version of the South, complete with racism and subordination of black Southerners. These songs show Anne the challenges the movement will face in Mississippi. 